Well, Saturday morning knives. Whatever, whatever's in this bag is from the guy that had the two kitchen knives and the three pocket knives the other day. When he picked them up, I don't know. He texted me back. He said, I'm going to bring you some more knives on Saturday. Drop them off in your box. Let's take a look in here and see what we got. Oh, there, another bag. Stand by. Well, I had 10 in there. I knew there was some in there by the weight. And it's a variety. <laughs> we got a Cutco. We got a Shoon. We got a Wustoff with a broken tip. I don't know what you call that one. That's a Cuisinart. A Cuisinart. A Hampton Forge. Hampton Forge. A Rapala. And a Throwaway Filet Knife. Surgical China. That's a nice ticket. A good Saturday morning. Well, we got a few more tickets Saturday morning. We got a serrated knife, a, a hinkle, and we got three chisels, like a half inch, a three quarter, and I don't know, three eighths maybe. Oh, it probably tells me on here somewhere. Oh yeah, half inch, a one inch, and three quarters. I was off a little bit. The three quarter, the one inch one is in bad shape though. Well, they were not too bad. They just need a little clean up. Okay. Well, when I got home from shopping, I looked in the box to see if the lady had picked up her yard tools, and she had, and she dropped off some other stuff. Now, there is something I've never seen before. It's a Henkel International. See it right there? Carbon Henkel International. Never seen one of these. Rod on, I guess that's a Henkel air. Scissors. And two cheap Chinese clears. Saturday's a nice knife day. I was not expecting it. Well, Sunday's bring me three tickets. I've been working all the knives I picked up from that lady yesterday. The cleavers and all. I got all them cleaned up and sharpened. I got three internationals. A Santuco, a chef's knife, and a small Santuco. Okay, I think that's going to be it for Sunday. Mostly exchange knives today. The butcher shop. I picked them up about 40 minutes ago. And I got something for the boys. A little snackaroos. The butcher shop sells them. The only customer so far is a lawnmower blade. In really good shape. Sometimes, you know, these things come. They're so nasty. It takes 10 or 15 minutes just to clean them up. But only one today, and it's in good shape. And we got a little action there. We got another exchange with the uh, axe people. We take the axes back and the knives back on Wednesday. So I'm going to sharpen them today, along with the butcher. I don't know what else will happen, but that could be it. I have some guys that are waiting impatiently. You ready, Indian? <laughs> You've seen these before this is a uh, one of my it's not a knife exchange it's just a bi-weekly sharpening sometimes it'll be three times a week i mean a month sometimes it'll be twice a month it's uh, just whatever she calls me i carry seven knives to her and i take these back the next day so it's not a weekly exchange it's just whatever they call 
three shines. You've seen them. You've seen them. This is a new one. This is the first time I've seen this one. And I got some. Those that you follow me a long time, you know, there's a guy that makes knives, and uh, I sharpen them. And he texted me, said he's bringing me some blades. I don't know how many. I don't even know what they look like, but they look like winklers. But I sharpen them. He makes them, and I sharpen them. We'll get them this afternoon sometime. I'll see you. What do you think, big old Jack? Jack's thinking about his lunch. And his dinner for a couple of days. That's an addition to their dog food they get. Oh, there's Boo Boo. Hi, Boo Boo. You waiting for that steak too, ain't you, buddy? Man's a little scared of the Indian. She's out of sight. She's scared of everything. Well, the knife maker guy brought his knives by. I told you they look like winklers. No edge. Well, I shouldn't say that. They have a kind of like a screwdriver edge on them. This is the first time we made one of these. It's got a it's got a rough edge on it. Okay, we got something for tomorrow. Well, I got all the knock axe handles knocked out. Cut off the old ones and drilled out the old, the new, uh, drilled out the broke off pieces, you know. And I sharpened them all up before I did all that. And I got the uh, homemade knives all sharpened. They're going back today, I guess, or tomorrow. I take these over and press the handles in them tomorrow. In case they need them after the weekend. Well, I've been out to dinner with my daughter. And I got a text from the custom knife guy. He said he picked up his knives and he left one more in the cooler. Oh, yeah, this is like a different ticket. Same kind of ticket, but not black coated. No edge. Okay, it was something for tomorrow. I already got a little something, I'll show you in a minute. And I got a brown bag. I know it's got a little mower blade in it. Almost like an immaculate mower blade. I could almost clean that with a toothbrush. God, I don't know what kind of yard this guy's got, but I like it. Stand by, we'll see what's in here. Three kitchen aids and a, and a glove. <laughs> I don't understand that. I think it's just left it in there. One A glove. Okay. Well, we're finally here and set up. We got our knives. The seafood guy has got them lined up. Just like we just like a month ago. And the market is pretty busy. My leader's in New York with grandkids. I got my buddy Steve helping me. And we've had two knives, three knives, one pair of scissors so far. As you can see, like I said, the market is busy. What's well, always busy? This is a nice one market. Seafood, oysters, and clams. Lots of oysters. said his wife went through the drawers brought all their knives I haven't even counted them yet what's the gathering ah nice set
Check this out. The peanut man. Probably some peanuts. I should say cashews. And a few knives. Three it looks like. Four. These are unsalted cashews. I like them. I share what my friends do. When I got home, I had homework. I didn't know it. The lady texted me and said, I dropped some knives off in your box. I got my mask on. Oh, you can't, can't talk too good. A rod, a heckle, two heckles, and a rod. Okay. It's Sunday. I'm doing a special order for the butcher at the uh, farmer's market where I work on every other Saturday, you know. They called me up and said, I got some really dull knives. Can you come out and try them for us tomorrow? I said, okay. And while I'm working here, a chef came by from one of the restaurants. I didn't even know about this guy coming. Two nice old saboteurs. Three nice old saboteurs. Good, you ate. Nice, I like them.